Last June, in response to COVID-19, the Ministry of Science and Technology established the Research Center for Epidemic Prevention Science to develop technologies for fighting the pandemic. At a recent press conference, the center shared some of the highlights of their work. For most of the news reporter, Stephanie Yang has the details. Last year, the Ministry of Science and Technology invested 185 million NT to establish the Research Center for Epidemic Prevention Science. It's based at five universities, National Taiwan University, National Yangming Jiao Tong University, National Tsenggong University, Tsanggeng University, and National Defense Medical College. The center's mission is to research and develop technologies that fight COVID and future infectious diseases. This the point of the Research Center for Epidemic Prevention Science is not only about conducting research or publishing SCI articles, it's to go beyond the campus and build a COVID fighting team. In other words, when an epidemic occurs in the country, the center will be the one to face it. Scientists from the five universities shared highlights of their research. A professor at Tsanggeng University says her team has developed a reagent that can track long-term changes in COVID antibody levels after vaccination. The reagent can be used to measure protection levels in people who have had COVID or who have been vaccinated. It uses two antigens, S1 and RBD, and works with applications of data fusion and machine learning. That means that neutralizing antibody tests that are currently carried out in P3 labs can be performed in regular laboratories. This year, the reagent was approved for emergency use and mass production. In the early days of Taiwan's recent COVID outbreak, 16 infections were linked to an entertainment facility in Ilan, but due to Taiwan's limited capacity for nucleic acid testing, it was initially hard to determine whether the cases were connected to one another. Yaming Jiao Tong University developed a high-throughput nucleic acid testing system. It provides a way to conduct large-scale screenings to uncover infection chains. Our genome facility is a national level facility. It can quickly provide testing capacity at Yangming Jiao Tong University's campus in Ilan. It can process tests for more than 1,500 people every day. Its large testing capacity was key to keeping Ilan protected. The Ministry of Science and Technology says it will launch a four year plan to boost scientific development on epidemics. The plan aims to establish facilities to research epidemic prevention, strengthen Taiwan's epidemic response capabilities, cultivate epidemiological talent, and foster international exchanges. According to Central Epidemic Command Center expert Zhang Shangchun, this will help Taiwan be ready to respond to infectious diseases that arise in the future. Even if COVID infections slow down and the coronavirus becomes like the seasonal flu, new infectious diseases will emerge in the future. Epidemic prevention is not just the work of the CDC or the Ministry of Health and Welfare. It's work that must be managed across government agencies. Epidemic prevention must be informed by empirical evidence. That's the only way epidemics can be dealt with properly. So far in the pandemic, Taiwan has harnessed technologies such as AI, 5G and smart devices to fight viral spread. The government hopes that the Research Center for Epidemic Prevention Science will spur progress in technological developments that prepare Taiwan against future epidemic. For most of news, Stephanie Yang, Chen Shenhan in Taipei.